Well, good morning, good friends. Hope you are very well on this uh, beautiful day in the middle of the week. We want to just uh, come to you and, and share just a couple of quick updates um, around the life of, uh, of New Life Within Church. And, you know, I, I just I am so thankful for uh, the council and our executive committee, um, uh, the leadership that you have elected um, to help guide um, uh, New Life Within Church. Uh, last night, uh, our church council met. Um, we discussed our spending plan for 2024. Um, there's some exciting, some really exciting things um, kind of coming our way. Um, and I am just so thankful for um, the folks who give of their time, um, their energy, their resources um, to help steer and guide and direct um, uh, this, this congregation. There's some really exciting and wonderful things. One of the things that I wanted to share with you. I got to look at my uh, got to look at my notes here. Um, is kind of a recap of the Warrior Giving Christmas. Um, there'll be more uh, information coming uh, out about that. But um, we had 120 um, requests for help uh, of the nine plus families that we that we helped this year. Um, that's incredible, right? There's you know, and and you were able to fill all of those requests um 120 folks or 120 requests that includes like rent grocery cards gas cards um and then you know kind of the physical gifts you know like a sweatshirt those kinds of things um more 540 dollars and 87 cents was raised through the noisy offering through the weeks that we collected um um you know kind of pocket change uh, for the for the noisy offering um, but in total, that means that you gave $2,650 in just monetary gifts. That's aside from the kind of the regular gifts. And I just wanted to give you that quick update because I, I think you're amazing. And, and I'm so glad to be a part of a faith community that responds generously um, to help people who are... Um, who are in need. And, and you know, and especially here, you know, right here, right here in, in Norwalk, um, folks that folks that are in need. Thanks for being you. Uh, thanks for uh, uh, for your generosity. Um, thanks for living into the promise of new life found for us in Jesus Christ. Um, and thanks for um, uh, th thanks for sharing Jesus in really tangible ways by giving a, a, a little merrier Christmas to um to families in, in this community. I'm going to spend uh, about four, four or five hours, I guess, uh, today um, with the uh, Ministerial Association distributing some of those gifts, bringing those gifts um, into families' homes. I'm excited to share some of those, some of those stories with you. The last thing I wanted to share with you is, as I was looking through and giving my report to council, I did a quick counter quick tally and realize that um in the next six weeks new life we have uh five baptisms that we're going to celebrate in the next six weeks we're going to um, celebrate the gift of baptism uh that sacrament that uh, entrance right um in which god names and claims us um that's a wonderful thing it's a beautiful thing as congregation to be celebrating um god's gift of grace named and claimed in these children and in, and in these adults um, who come forward um, to the waters of, um, of baptism. Friends, thanks for being you. I'm excited to join with you in worship this uh, coming Sunday. We're going to focus on the first couple verses um, uh, of Luke chapter 2. Um, when Quirinius was governor of Syria, um, he decreed that there'd be a census taken so that all the world would be enrolled. And um, Mary and Joseph uh, they go from um, from Nazareth, kind of up in the northern Judean country, uh, and they head down to um, uh, northern Galilee. They head down to the Judean country to um, uh, to Bethlehem, and they do that because there's a census taking. There's a there's a role that's being taken, um, and in that town of Bethlehem, Jesus is born. What a wonderful gift we celebrate! Excited to see you for worship. We'll see you soon.